Okay, I was planning to go into my hives tomorrow morning uh, when we've got some nice sunny weather. Uh, right now it just finished raining, um, but I'm concerned about my hives because there's not a single bee outside anywhere to be found. Uh, they're not flying around, they're not walking around on the outside of the hive. I opened them up, uh, opened up the top cover a little while ago, a couple of hours ago, just to look inside and see if there was any uh, feed uh, syrup left. And it looked like the syrup was pretty much all gone. So I added some more syrup to the top and then quickly closed them back up. But um, I'm kind of concerned now that uh, there's something really bad going on because there's no bees outside. So because I don't know if that's just because it's rainy weather, I would have thought that there would be a couple of bees at least. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the hives and do my first inspection tonight before the sun sets. So I'm going to be lighting up the smoker here and put on my bee suit and get ready to go in. See what that's going on. First I'll open the rear smoker hole and put a couple of puffs of smoke in there. That will go up through the hive and it will disguise the alarm pheromone so that the bees will calm down. They won't be able to communicate with each other. Uh, then I'll smoke the front entrance just to make sure we get a little puffs in there. And then I'll open the top cover and put a little bit of smoke inside there. Close it back down and let some of that settle out let the bees start to think that they need to uh, go down inside the hive instead of sitting up there in the top. So I do have some bees active up there in the top, so that's a good sign. I'm gonna smoke it a little bit more and then take the top cover off. So I've got at least this many live bees. That's all I've seen so far. There still aren't any flying around. But now that I've got the top cover off, we'll. We'll find out just how many there are. So after I kind of drive these guys down inside, I'm really probably using way too much smoke, but I want to try to drive them down inside so that I can take this feeder off. Feeder looks fairly dry. It, uh, they've eaten up most of the feed that I, most of the syrup that I put in there. Here comes the big moment. Am I going to have any dead bees? Oh. Hooray! They're all alive! <laughs> oh man, I was so scared. Okay guys, go down inside. Down into the frames. Alright, so you can see the little protein patty sitting on top there and you can see that the frames are full of bees and there's the queen cage hanging in the middle there. Well, that's good. They're not all dead. Boy, they weren't making any buzzing noises or anything. I was really worried. All right, let's take the queen package out, queen cage. And make sure that she's been released or find out if she's been released. Gonna shake a few bees off. Yep, she's still in there, but they've almost eaten through that candy. You can see there's a bee right there toward the bottom in that white mass there of candy. They've almost freed her. She's still inside. I guess I'm gonna hang her back into the brood box and let them finish the job. She's gotta stay warm. It's pretty cold out here. And by leaving her in there, they will all cluster around that cage just like they were when I opened it up and they'll keep her warm very important. So now I'm going to put in the 10th uh, frame that I had taken out when I first installed the package. It was really kind of a mistake because they will fill up any empty space with propolis and which is the bee glue and you really don't want that to happen. You really want all the frames to be in there equal spacing so that they don't start gluing everything together and building 
burr comb, which is basically kind of useless comb that is in places where you don't want it to be. All right, so we've got all the frames back in now. Protein patty is still in good shape. Time to put the feeder back on top. So we've got the feeder back on. And now we need to fill that up. We're gonna put about two gallons of syrup into the top feeder. And that should hold them for a little while until I come back out next week and open it up and start looking for eggs and making sure that the bees have been drawing comb correctly and that the queen is out there wandering around laying eggs. And now we can put the top cover back on. And let these guys get back into their nice warm hive. There you go little bees, get off the side there so you don't get squashed. There we go. Okay, and that hive is together. Okay, we're gonna work on hive number two now. See what it looks like. There's the smoke at the rear entrance. Calm them down some. I'm going to take the top heater off. Oh, looks like we've got a nice hive going there. Let's send them all downstairs. Downstairs, guys. This one. The queen is I do believe the queen is out on this one. Is she out? Yeah, queen is out on this one. So, she's inside laying eggs. So what I'm gonna do is just add the 10th frame here. So that they don't start making comb between the empty frames. There we go. 
We got our protein patty in there. And now we'll put the feeder back on top. So they'll get about two and a half gallons of sugar water for each hive. And that should last them quite a while. Okay, bees. We got the frames in, we got the entrance reducers out. We got the mic boards out.